Hello and welcome to Black Room of Time. Tune in for some more No Man's Sky now. Uh, well, I did the dick thing. I came home last night very tired, and I just need to delete a few files so I had a little bit more room for my recordings. And uh, Dick had me remove the second episode of this, and I even removed it from the recycling bin, just completely vacant. Thought I already had the episode recorded and everything, but whatever. It's gone. The audio was crap anyway, and I hope you can hear me in this one. But um. I've done a fair bit since um, I last recorded this. I've played probably in excess of 10 hours now, and uh, by the time I finished the recording, I played over two hours, so it was very unlikely I was going to get my refund for it. Especially considering the fact that I technically owned it for more than two weeks because I had it on pre order for a little while, which is a real bummer. Um, Steam need to actually think about that because this game is isn't complete, it isn't right, but um, yeah, I've done some work, and we're getting a lot of hitching, what the hell is going on, um, yeah, the game hasn't been fixed at all, I've tried my best, but uh, today, we're not going to do so much of an exploring, I just kind of want to talk about the huge problems that I've seen occur since I've started this, since I've been following the games, not so the, the issues that have arisen and the developers problems so obviously the game is retailing at forty pounds which is sixty dollars etc etc in your own country so a full triple A release this game has got which in the grand scheme of things is awful it should never ever have cost that much uh, it was one of the things that really put me off of it before I pre-ordered it but I got kind of sucked in by the trailers and I thought this looks amazing, I just want to be able to experience that. Um, so yeah, there's a big problem there. It is nowhere near that value. It can't be and it won't be and I don't think it ever will be, even if they do add a load of stuff and they actually do their job. I don't think it will be that worth. I think that's really Sony pushing an agenda to make as much money as possible from this. But, uh, yeah, that, it, it's almost soul-destroying to realise that I've just wasted 40 quid for something that I now can't get it back. It's, uh, yeah, it is kind of destroying. It was a bit like, I can't do anything about it now. I'm left. I've been pushed to the sidelines. They've taken my money and they don't give a shit. Now, the second issue is with the GPUs. They have been reporting that you need an op um, you need... OpenGL 4.5 uh, which bear in mind my computer very new very expensive it cost me a lot is capable of 4.5 OpenGL it's an Asus Strix 980 Ti so you'd expect the best from it however Nvidia have not released a driver that uses 4.5 in quite a few months so we have a big problem here we have an open <laughs> we have a Nvidia drive that doesn't use OpenGL 4.5 but we're being told by the developers that the game runs at 4.5 this isn't it's it keeps going because we look at the actual minimum requirements for this game and the reality is <laughs> which fucking astounds me that the minimum spec GPUs have a maximum of 4.2 OpenGL. So if this game was supposed to run at an OpenGL 4.5, why is it that your minimum requirements are given essentially the wrong information that isn't a minimum requirement? It seems there is no minimum requirement for this. You need OpenGL 4.5, but you cannot do that without reversing either going backwards on your drivers now I'm not sure what AMD I think they're in very much the same position but you either have to go back into the old logs and try and get an old driver which let's be perfectly frank here is fucking stupid it's not right it's not fair and it's quite risky you're essentially going yeah go back to an old driver that isn't optimized for any of the new games you might have so people who bought Doom run at 120 frames per second fantastic because they released a driver for it but you go crawling back 
and then decide one day you don't want to play No Man's Sky, you want to play a bit of Doom. You don't know the repercussions of that, you don't know whether it's going to run smoothly and it's just a pain in the ass. and you shouldn't be told to go back. They're treating it as if our hardware is an issue here and it's just, it's just fuck out of order, it's bang out of order. But um, that was, that's another one of my big gripes and to think that about 90% <laughs> of all fucking GPUs aren't using OpenGL 4.5 they can't or they're not being utilized by NVIDIA or AMD which is just stupid let's be honest it is stupid but there's, oh, it's just utterly mind-blowing to think that they're trying to blame it on something so small I don't know whether there's going to be a huge difference between 4.4 and 4.5 because that's essentially what I'm running but I'm seeing so much and I'm also not going to be updating my driver to what is essentially uh, NVIDIA 369 which is beta drive because I'm worried about the effects of that, it's a beta drive I don't want to be sticking a beta drive on because I use this computer for editing and uh, my editing software is fickle it is very fickle, it's a pain in the ass and I remember doing it a few months back where I updated my driver and that one simply refused downright refused to work with that software and it was it was a pain in the ass. I had to reverse back and then I had to reissue my sorry reinstall the whole thing and I just lost so much progress and so much work on it as well so I don't feel that's really worth my time and struggle I'll wait for an official release and hope for the best but um, I've done a few things in the game since I left you, since I stopped recording. Um, I've flown about, obviously. <laughs> um, I've also actually experienced a few more of the worlds and the uh, discoveries page, which in all fairness I would have liked to have known prior. These are things that are alright if you're going to talk about a game some sort of tutorial would have been helpful uh, obviously it's one of the biggest gripes I have with games if you don't have a tutorial that is subtle, not so much subtle that it's I can't even think of a word for it now that works, let's put it very simply, that works and that is nice and easy to understand and doesn't rush you through things, doesn't go whoa here is this, here's that, here's this it's just, it's very annoying but as you can see here you can physically upload the biomes and the worlds you've been to which is quite a cool little idea because you've discovered them at that point and uh, there we go you can get units for uploading them and all this and you'll also notice that I have lost a fuck ton of money in fact I'm not sure how much money I had when I last recorded but um, I saved up 1.5 million to uh, get a new get a new plane a new starship which is this ugly fuck here um, but I have eloquently been told that if I go to a planet and make an offering to one of those temple things or whatever or make a bypass chip I can find starships out in the wild which is infuriating to say the least I could physically have made a better one I could have repaired a better one it would have been nice to have known there's other ways of doing it and saving my money so I could get a fuck off base ship like that which is just ridiculous money so I'm wondering how I'm gonna do that but there doesn't seem to be many sort of survival aspects to it if you're losing health or anything like that you can dive back into your starship here and it will actually regain it all so as long as you're close to your starship you're sorted <laughs> essentially it's very easy but um let's uh play the game for a bit rather than me ranting on for a bit. So I haven't explored that planet. Have I been to that one? I've not been to that one. Not been to that one. I don't think I've been to anyone here. Yes, I think I must have uh, teleported here. So um, yes, there's also this whole warp drive. Uh, sorry, not warp drive. Whole atlas thing, which I kind of got bored of didn't really follow the story so I just want to explore the world on my own so I've got a waypoint for a uh, black hole which I'm going to try and 
making my way to to get to the center of the universe. Don't know. I don't know what it does, but uh, it will take me to the center of the universe or not. I don't know, but you know, it makes my life somewhat easier. But I have no idea what to do with these Atlas chips, whatever. Rather confusing. Some nice trees here. Still. Okay, let's let's fucking land up here then. So initiate the land sequence. There's still a lot of hitching, and you can see just by the textures that they haven't been sorted. They're very ugly. They're not so bad, but they just look flat. And more hitching. This is infuriating. What the fuck is that? So you can hover over them like this if you push F. Dun dun dun, new discovery. It'll analyze all the plants and the fauna. Oh, dragon post. How weird. Blah 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 blah. Have you got any items to sell to him? I do. Look at that. Apparently I have nothing else. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's go see what we got over here. Okay, okay. So it is very easy to kind of progress as long as you keep making money. Essentially is the whole idea. I've literally shot through the universe. It's been untrue how easy it's been for me. So there's some critters down there, I don't know what they're like. How the fuck am I going to get back up there? Let's uh, just quickly scoot up here, get this, and then we'll fly the plane down there or whatever. But yeah, it's very easy to actually just shoot through the planets to save a, save a little bit of money. So if we go here now, we can hold E there and literally just upload all of them. So their discoveries are linked to me. And in all reality, I've seen hundreds of those on various different planets. There's no deceive, uh, discernible difference between any of them. That is a fucking big plant, mine. So you can just sit here and do this and just earn credits and not really do anything. And not really do anything. Jump back in the ship then. To recharge my health anyway, so. Uh, bam bam bam. I've also noticed that buttons don't work sometimes, which is utterly infuriating. Really? Why do I have that? Come here. Let's dump some shit on him. But uh, yeah, I can't really think of many other gripes I have. Perhaps uh, the air combat is utterly shite. If you come up against two or three, you're boned. There's no way of winning the turning circle. Of these things are horrible. I guess that also comes down mainly to the fact that the sensitivity of this game is screwed. You can turn your sensitivity down of your mouse down to a, down to zero and it'll be exactly the same as it was at 50. Ah, nah. That, what the fuck? Ah, uh, yeah. What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. I just want to land. So this is another big problem, is the fact is you're not actually piloting the thing. I left, I physically left the game because I just wanted to get points for exploring. Can I walk through that? I can. I literally just left it on, just piloting on its own, it doesn't use any fuel. It's completely remote. So you don't have to do any piloting, which is a real shame, 
it would be nice because you see all these archways and I saw some really weird shapes that I just wanted to fly through but you're not allowed because it what the f is that it just stops you from experiencing that which is a real a real annoyance and there's no way to remove it hello you know. oh, finally at least I saw something that looks somewhat decent let's go say hello Iridium? No, I don't need that fucking hitch in mind. What the fuck are they? There's another species. What the fuck? Man, they are fucking weird. I never really quite understood the use of feeding them. It's never really worked for me either. I've had more luck just hitting the sea. I'm just finding the shit on my own. As you see right there. Gimme gimme gimme. Oh the gek word for radiation. Yeah, whatever. Radiation protection falling. No free slots in suit inventory. Really? Yeah fucking really? Those. A quick candor in that. Yes, thank you very much. So, um, I'm supposed to be able to make the Atlas things now, but I'm. No, it's only V1. I don't know how to get more. So, iron and iridium. Yeah, make it easy. Okay. You see, and you get iridium in these giant fucking towers. I have no idea what these droids are and how they're on every planet. It's not really No Man's Sky, is it, really, in the whole grand scheme of things. You are not alone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you're not alone in any sense of the word. Can I scan those? I guess not. Okay. Radiation protection. Stabilizing. See that looks, it looks cool, but the problem is, is the resolution is jacked. It's a really piss poor. There's another tower there. Um, it's a really piss poor port, which should never have been released. It should have been released for the PC first. Or. Well, no, it should it should have been ported from the PC to the PS4 to make it more playable. Because it would have been far better than textures and resolution would have been better. It wouldn't have been down in effect downscale to what it is now. There's a fucking brain there. There's some pretty weird critters. Let's see how many. So you can also check how many creatures are actually on the planet, like this, which kind of ruins it to a degree, but for completing all of this and getting a load of discoveries. So you have to find all the creatures essentially to make the most money, and you get an absolute metric ton. 275,000 units just for discovering all the creatures, but there are like subspecies like we just saw with those three there. Does it give anything or is it just carbon? It's iron? It's a fucking plant! Okay... It's 
already discovered, okay. Off we go. So I could literally just go into this menu here, hit this, do that. I'm not touching anything here, it just automatically moves that, which is a real bummer in the grand scheme of things, I quite like. I like being able to pilot my own ship, it just feels like I'm just steering in the direction that's the way it's going to go. Sunk over there. So, in fact there's a bypass chip thing over there, we'll go. And there's some uh, resources there as well which might be useful. Shabha! And there's no direct landing, you can't look down which is infuriating. I would like to be able to look down at least be able to hover. Sorry about that. I'd like to be able to hover. That's cool in my starship. It's quite ironic that we park right next to that, isn't it? Um. Right. Yep, yeah, yeah, one of the spells. That's W-A-M-K. How did that give us then? Oh, there was nothing in there. Thank you. Let's go exploring. Hello, Mr. Yak. Now I don't get why it does this when you walk into a building. sell stuff. So apparently I'm a partner. He's nothing to me. Uh. Yeah. I'd pay you a thousand, you little bastard. Uh -huh. See now these are just pathetically easy the last time I did one. Da, da, da. Yeah this is exactly the same as another one I did. So how creative. So this will give us a distress signal which means there will be a downed aircraft. Which if it's better than ours I'm going to take. As simple as it gets. I may have lost my warp cells in the process but they're easy enough to rebuild. Ah, I can't bother with that. What's that? Yeah, this hitching is rather annoying. I've even seen tubers and all this having issues with it, which is rather entertaining actually. Okay, can I make can I make one of those now? Do I have the iridium? I do, I am close enough. There we go. Right. But I'm about to use the fucking Atlas Pass for Christ's sake. It's only one use, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. No free slots in ship inventory. I don't get some of these, let's just get rid of that. Antimatter! There we go. Incoming storm. Okay. So if I go here. Oh, we keep the Atlas Pass. Right, we need to get indoors because that radiation is increasing. We'll just get killed. So we wait for that storm to pass. But uh, let's have a quick. And, uh, so um, I got a life support module there as well, which I just wanted. Can I talk to you? Do you give me anything? For fuck's sake! No free slots in ship inventory. Yeah, bastard. Technology recharge. Yeah, I want to make warp cells, but. Not sure what I need for them now because I can't actually see. If I could drop these things on the floor, I'd be alright. 
Um, see, and I can't get rid of these because apparently I need them for the end. Which is just a bit stupid. Because I do not have the room to carry them about. But you know, whatever. I got so much plutonium, do I really need that much? Technology recharge. No free slots in ship inventory. What was it? I was yeah, I was looking for a warp cell. No one. Oh, easy, I can make loads of them. Obviously I need more antimatter, but yeah, I can make loads. So if we just keep that slot open and we focus on trying to find that ship, maybe we'll get a better ship. Fine, oh, it'll make you happy. Shit. Is there any carbon life forms out here? Normally it's something I can shoot around the back of shot. Nah. Is there really nothing around here? Um. Radiation protection falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have chose, chosen the most barren area to park up and live. We haven't been over in that little building, there might be something in there. Look at that stamina is shit as well. Open up. Radiation protection. Falling. Uh, Radiation if it would. Oh, look at that. I essentially steal money. Um, yeah, whatever. Oh. Not the perfect time for that, man. Alright, um, hmm. I'm gonna go see what this is quickly. I know there's a fuck off big tower or something over here. And if it's what I hope it is, I can make a lot of money from it. Nickel. Gold. Oh, it is. Technology recharge. For the worst using that at the moment. Uh, so let's just get rid of the carbon. Fuck the little creature in there and go for the gold. So this is quite obviously it's quite valuable. I make sure I grab a fair bit. Like I was mining emerald, or what I presume to be emerald, and it was making me an absolute metric ton of money. Hundreds of thousands just from a rock. Just fantastic. Especially if you can find one near a trading post, that's really helpful. They're pretty obvious to spot. There we go, see? Not really No Man's Sky when there's a metric ton of little assholes flying about, is it really? Come on. So if we hit tab now, you can see there, that's just 18 grand there. Which is nothing really to be scoffed at, it's pretty valuable. Come on! I don't want that other item. I wish it's fucking cooler. This would cool down quicker, but it's a pain in the ass. Radiation protection. Falling. Tan tan Not a good way to tell if anyone, anything's near you, you'll get that little icon. Or you'll get a little icon. Hey, let's go rather deep. Okay, just launch 
a couple of grenades and then see how deep it is. Evidently it doesn't go that deep, I've just blown a massive hole in the floor. That's probably enough gold if I'm honest. I'll take that. Right. Let's head back to the shop. See, look. If it wasn't hitching, that looks incredible. It just needs a little bit more clarity and it needs tidying up. I'm playing on the PC for Christ's sake. On PS4, these details should be immaculate. Yet they look like they've come from a fucking. Xbox 360. Which, don't get me wrong, I very much enjoyed my game on the Xbox. My games on the Xbox 360, and quite a lot of them looked very nice. You're telling me that's going to take me that amount of time? Oh no, that's not going to be another player. Apparently, we can't find other players, which has been mentioned a couple of times. Uh, someone had done some research and or used some software to actually see what's outside of the craft when people are flying it and it is literally just the cockpit so uh, yeah a lot of people are skeptical whether it is actually online or not or whether they are literally just trying to con people into buying it we're gonna shoot one over here can't use up all so many numbers. You fucking what? See, I never really kind of get that. So yeah, you can fly into fucking craters and all this sort of shit. But you can't actually fly into the land. He's a bit stupid now, I think about it, really. Oh, fucking hell. Open that fucking head. The stress signal's fucking miles away from anything. There's a fucking little civilization just over the hill over there. Just over there. Right, where is this? Oh, that's a big one as well. Item. It's a red. Okay, it's a light. Whatever. No, I haven't had this pass. Alright, let's have a look at this then. What do you need? Let's compare it to ours. So, one, two, three, four. It has a hyperdrive, yes. It launched thrusters, obviously. Cannon damage, yes. Cannon damage two, yes. It needs a lot of repairs. Beam impact. It's got two, we got three, but that's not too bad. In fact, it's got the three as well. It's also got the warp reactor sigma, which is good. And the cooling sigma and the deflector. It doesn't have that many spaces. Let's just have a quick count. So one, two, three, four. Twenty-two slots, twenty-three. So it's not it's not as good as ours, unfortunately. It's got a better warp drive, but I can't do anything about that, which is a pain in the ass. It'd be nice if I could just, you know, learn technology and take it, maybe. Goodbye. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna more antimatter, perfect. 
the two warp drives. Uh, okay, now what's that gonna be? Probably more plutonium if I'm honest. Um that's an oxide. This might give us a technology, there we go. And I just threw all that iridium or whatever. So I don't see any dead bodies, so we only got out. We could see like a dead gek or something near it. Got a lot of droids around there as well, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's a life form over there. Duh. Fucking there. Ow. So we've discovered three of the eleven species on this planet. Hmm. Not fine. Oh, look at them, the little rabbit. There's a few different species of them as well. Oh, there's an even mini one there. There we go. So you get units for just discovering them and discovering them in the first place. Well, can you fuck off? Fuck, like, what's in here? Okay, it's just a formation. What the uh, fuck me? That hitching is ridiculous. So I've literally I've spent a lot of time in the actual discussions page trying to find out if there's a way I can fix any of this, increase it, but no one knows, and the developers are just being assholes, quite frankly, which is a real shame because this game could have been so much, so much more.